Hey guys, this is Nick with Weikert Realtors. Welcome back for another property tour. Today we're in Summerlin in the Mesa Ridge community, touring a $2.7 million listing here that has never been lived in before. We have pavers all below with a three car garage. The one right here across from me is more of a showcase room with some lounging space to show off that trophy car. We'll check that out a little later in today's tour. We have a lot of modern architectural designs throughout, lots of minimalistic lines. On the other side here, you could see your two car garage. A very cool feature that they do a lot in this neighborhood is this mail parcel type device. And whoever the delivery person is, puts the packages through here, scans in through the uh, touch screen with some cameras, and then it pops out on the other side of the garage to make it very safe, secure, packages aren't getting stolen. And I'll show you guys what the other side looks like too when we get to that part of the tour. Coming up here, we have lots of glass throughout. We have a pivot door, and then we have a courtyard that has a little bit of a skylight coming through here, but you can also see into the property through these four big paneled windows, very open floor plan. Uh, so let's go and take a look inside here today. So this home, like I said, has never been lived in before. Right away, we get the bread and butter, which is the main living quarters, super open. We have tall ceilings above as well. I'm gonna just take everyone through here first before we get to the right wing of the property. Electric fireplace, perfect setup for your TV. I mean, this wall is massive. You could definitely put um, you know, a very large TV here. Perfect amount of space for your couch setup. I'll get a different view here now of just how massive this open floor plan is. There's lots of options you could do here. Um, I was thinking maybe like a formal living space here with some lounge chairs around that fireplace, your TV and couch setup. And then on this opposite side, we have the dual elevation ceiling where your dining room area could go. We have some more windows right there. So this, this house is getting a lot of natural light. And if you notice on this back wall, this is a four panel pocket door. This opens up all the way to the backyard. Go ahead and check this out. We have some more pavers that match the ones of the driveway. A built in uh, patio cover right here with some lighting. Like I said, this is a brand new build. So the backyard is not completed, but that's perfect because it leaves it up to your imagination to go ahead and design this yard however you want. I always like that because then it goes ahead and gives the client how they want the backyard, whether it's changing the pool design, maybe adding some grass where they didn't. And this leads all the way to the side here too. So I'm wondering if you could convert this later into some RV parking. We'd have to check on that, but that's definitely perfectly set up to do so. We're on the corner lot of the cul-de-sac here. So we do uh, face the mountains right here, giving you a great view, higher elevation, so lots of privacy in this backyard. That's where the master suite is too, with outdoor access, but we're gonna go ahead and check that out here in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take a step back inside and check out this kitchen space. We have a waterfall edge countertop tons of cabinet space throughout. I love how they added more windows too to bring in light to hit this kitchen. We have some floating shelves here and this accent wall is really cool. It's textured and wavy, kind of makes it pop a bit more to offset this flat white color with that more texture. All the appliances are by Wolf. We have the six burner stove here with the split oven and pretty big stainless steel hood vent above. Of course, you have your lights and your fans, and then this counter space extends more. And that actually brings us back here to the walk-in pantry. Lots of room in here. If you're looking to build some custom shelves, cabinets, could do so in here. Now right here, you have a little bit of a coffee bar area. This would be perfect to store all your little items like coffee, 
snacks, and then you have your microwave above. And this is where your fridge would go. It is currently back ordered, but it is on the way. And you're looking at a sub-zero wolf fridge to go ahead and take over the space. So now we're back at the front of the property by the pivot door. And this is where it breaks off into the right wing of the home. Right away, we have a den space that overlooks your front yard area. This is considered a three bedroom, but this is an additional room. So technically you're getting four rooms. It just doesn't have that closet space to consider it a bedroom, but this is perfect for an at-home office, play area, anything additional that you kind of want more private off into its own room. This is set up perfectly for. And it has the pre-wiring as well. So if you want to add a TV, anything like that, you are more than welcome to. So this brings you down to a hallway now. We have a closet space here, and this is the uh, spare bathroom for this section of the property. Very simple, one vanity and a tall mirror that goes all the way to the ceiling. And then all the way at this far end is just more storage, kind of like a mud room area, counter, cabinets, and then more light and views of this side yard area. Now this door takes us to the two car garage that I explained in the beginning of the video where we had that nail pour section. Excuse if there's an echo in here, we are in the garage. This is the two car. And this is the parcel port that I was talking about. So you go ahead and you'll press these buttons here. That unlocks it and then your package is safe and secure in here. Very private again. Scratch also has an EV port, so no hassle with going ahead to install that. That is already pre-installed here. Here's just another look at this two car garage. Go ahead and make our way back through this hallway. The right wing is definitely smaller than the left. So I wanna bring everyone across here now to check out the remainder of the spare bedrooms. Get a kind of a closer look at this uh, electric fireplace here and how tall these ceilings are. Very open. And then here's the glass paneling from this view of your courtyard. Perfect views, you know, if you have your lounge chairs, anything like that. So this hallway brings you to the primary suite and the remainder of the spare bedroom. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this primary suite first. Splits off into two hallways. We're gonna go down here first to where the room's located. Again, you kind of have this coffee bar area if that's what you wanted this space to be with some cabinets above and below. And that opens up to this bedroom. And I love how this back wall is almost complete glass, except for the metal dividers in between these windows. But it brings in so much light to the room and it has its own outdoor access that I pointed out earlier. This gives you great views of your backyard, your mountaintop above, and then you have another electric fireplace on this back wall with some pre-wiring above to go ahead and set up your TV. Overall, very spacious. I love the outdoor access and uh, these windows too. Makes it more tuned with the, the nature out there and your backyard setup. Coming to the right now, we have two closets that are symmetric to each other with barn doors to go ahead and give you access. These closets are very spacious. Perfect if you want to go ahead and do those build-ins, and they are the same on each side. Now at the far end to the left is the water room. It's nice and sectioned off by itself. And then in the middle here is another outdoor access to a more private patio cover area. Um, I'm thinking you could probably even extend this to put fake grass, whatever you please kind of make this a bigger lounging space, but as you can see, it brings you right to the yard again, and then you have a light above. 
nice for a couple chairs, come out here in the morning, enjoy your cup of coffee, and uh, start your day. So for a bathroom, this bathroom is pretty huge. Um, we'll start with the dual vanities and then get to the good stuff. We have the dual vanities, cabinets below, and then the massive mirrors again that go all the way to the ceiling here. If we go to my left, this setup is enormous. This freestanding tub alone is huge. We have the hose attachment, some windows to bring in some of that natural light, and then a shower that could pretty much be a bedroom of its own. Again, this glass goes all the way from the floor to the ceiling. If we go ahead and take a look inside here, we have a bench to the right, nice accent that goes all the way throughout. And then we have your two attachments there. And this room is just huge. And then it has a back slider to go ahead, give you that outdoor access to your yard. This is perfect if you do uh, plan on installing a pool here. You could kind of use this as a mud shower or a clean off shower so you don't have to go ahead and dirty the rest of the house to get back in. You could kind of come in here, clean up, dry off, and then go back to your living quarters. So this room alone takes up a majority of the left wing of the property. But we're going to head back to the hallway now. Coming down this hallway, we have the washer and dryer room to the right. There's plenty of storage here, cabinet space, a sink. And then at the far end of the hallway, we have the remainder of the two spare bedrooms. Both of them are symmetric to each other, having a nicely done shower. And then the closet that is attached to the bathroom this is nice because you don't have to go too far um, to go ahead and access your clothes after you, you know, take a shower and wrap up your day. And like I said, these mirror each other, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this one too. You have your single vanity, nice walk-in shower and closet to the right. And then to top it all off, this is the private trophy car room that I talked about at the beginning of the video. We have a couple stairs down, and this is a very unique garage setup that I haven't seen before. We have sliders that give you access to this single port garage. So if you have that favorite vehicle, vintage car that you wanna park right in here, it's nice and away from the, the busy traffic of all, all your other vehicles in the other garage. This is perfect for that, and it gives you a lot of space too to maybe set up some couches, a bar, a TV. And this is kind of like the spot where you go to make some drinks for friends or family, talk about your car, uh, or if not, you just get a great view of it while you're relaxing, maybe watching the game and making some drinks to end your day. I love that part about the home because of how unique it is. Um, it really just makes it different from a lot of other properties that you see. So we're going to come back through here now. That wraps it up for this property tour. Get a couple last looks at how open this floor plan is. But if you have any questions or concerns about this home, or you are interested in setting up a private showing with me, find my email or phone number in the description, and we could definitely go ahead and set that up. Other than that, I am also posting a more in-depth walkthrough tour on my main channel where I post mansion tours here in Las Vegas. So if you want to check that out, it is just Nick Race on YouTube. Other than that, uh, comment what you guys thought of this property, and I will see you guys in the next one.